Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me, and this is the place where women who are aging beautifully come to be inspired. And my guest today is Josephine Lowen. Josephine has been in the fashion business for a very long time, and she has had lots of experiences as image consultant herself. But 10 years ago, she started her own website, which is called chicatanyage.com. And uh, she's really got one aim, and that is to help women in their 50s, 60s, and older to really have a, a continued uh, interest and passion for clothing and fashion. Um, she spends three months every year down in the south of France in Saint-Tropez and is inspired by the beautiful fabrics and colors down there. And she has a website and also um, an Instagram page where she you know, shows her different uh, style ideas and huge inspiration. I love her stuff very much. Welcome, Josephine. It's lovely to be here and I love your channel. I think it's very inspiring for, for us older women. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, we cover all kinds of topics from, you know, retirement to caregiving and well-being, but you are the expert on fashion and I'm so happy to have you here because it's a big topic for us. It's like, a, you know, there's a stereotype that we don't like fashion when we get older, but I think that's wrong, don't you? <laughs> oh, yes. And I think it's changing year by year, well, week yeah. by week. I think we're, we're much more into fashion than we're given credit for. Yeah. Well, also, I think there's an attitude of um, just being relaxed. We don't really care so much what people think. Yes. And, you know, we just wear what we like and that mm -hmm. makes it more interesting. So I think a lot of women, uh, well, certainly me, don't like to spend more food. <laughs> okay, do you want some water? Sorry, I'm just going to have a quick sip. Yeah, no problem. Cheers. I've got my cup of tea here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just need a quick sip of water because my throat's gone a bit dry. No, it's not <laughs> fever. It's okay, you know, but, but older women tend to um, look at clothing and say, I don't have anything to wear. And, and besides, mm. nothing, nothing seems to go together in my wardrobe. So what do you think? I mean, how can we mix and match things we've already got in our wardrobe in creative ways? I think we need to be a little bit more uh, daring. I think we need to push the envelope a little bit. I mean, why not? You know, if you're not going to do it now, <laughs> you're never going to do it. Well, the so, you know, make hay while the sun shines and, and, and just enjoy every piece in your wardrobe and begin to think outside of the box. I mean, I've got um, a leather jacket here, which I absolutely love. I mean, it, I have to admit, it was a bit spendy. It was an investment piece. Yeah. I actually stalked it for about a couple of years. <laughs> I really want that jacket. Um, my old one, my original leather jacket. Do you know what? I bought it in 1985, my original leather jacket. Yeah, I believe I you. still have it. Yeah, it's now been relegated to, to my bicycle. I wear it when I'm cycling, and this is the replacement. And it was worth every penny I did find yeah. it in the sale. But yes, you can wear it classically white t shirt, jeans, boots, fine. And I do, it's lovely. However, why not try something new? And there is a navy you can see it. Skirt. Yeah. yeah, yes, it's a midi skirt. Oh, I, I tend to wear midis these days, and it's quite A-line, so it's, it's flattering on the flowing. hips. You know, yeah, it's flowing. It, it, it goes over all the lumps and bumps. <laughs> wear it with a leather jacket. I mean, that's, that's different. It's unusual. You know, what, you're putting what fabric is that skirt? Well, <clears throat> I think it is a, a, it's not a, a silk. I mean, that would be too delicate. I think it's a, yeah, viscose or a, you know, a, it's nice. It's nice and thick. It doesn't, oh, um, it's not yeah. flimsy, yeah. but it's, yeah, I think it'll be a viscose or a viscose polyester polyester mixture yeah so you know good for traveling but wear it you know you'd think oh well i'd wear that with high heels and maybe you know my my cream shirt or something like that but you know add something unusual add the leather jacket why not what would you wear as a top underneath that that jacket when you were wear, wearing it with the skirt what would you put there you think i think i'd keep that quite plain i uh, might go have i got a white t-shirt here i did have one probably somewhere <laughs> Yeah, I might go for, you know, a cream, give it a bit of a gypsy look, you know, with a little tie neck, yes. something like that. You yeah. could wear it in or out, depending yeah. on your, your figure shape. Yeah. Or I just wear, to be honest, I might just wear a white, a white t-shirt, you know, play it down a little bit depending on the occasion, you know, where you're going, the situation. Yeah, I think that lace and leather is nice too. Oh, yeah, lace and leather is lovely. Yeah. And I, I have got a black one because I haven't brought it up with me, but there is um, a brand in the UK that does these sort of, it's like a little slip, but it has the lace around the edge at the bottom. Uh -huh. Yes. And it's yeah. supposed to show underneath the top. 
and I love that look. I wore, I had a black one. I wore it under knitwear in the evening, uh, and it just gave that little little edge, quite quite French, really. I suppose a little bit of lace yeah. showing. Yeah, that's lovely. And what would you wear on the your sheet, your shoes? What kind of shoes would you wear? Boots or high boots? Well, that depends. I am a great lover of these. Ah. Now it's a love or hate. You know, I walk a lot, <laughs> so I tend to walk a lot in trainers. I'm not good on the heels anymore. I mean, I'm, I live in near London and walking around is, um, you know, not great in the heels. So I tend to do that. Now, it is a very Instagram look. It's been around for quite a while, you know, with the younger people. But I think, why not? Either that or, again, if I'm walking a lot, I'll wear a brogue to keep my feet I, I need to support my feet these days I know what you I know you uh, that's absolutely true that we need to not have to think about walking needs to just make it comfortable but for me white shoes I've don't I've never owned a pair of white shoes it's a love or hate yeah it's I, love or hate. I would feel like my feet were like really big like um you know like I don't know Donald Duck or something <laughs> but they just seem to be so big and you know that's the style though I mean people people do it but uh, well I love my I love my Stan Smiths now I have the reverse I'm relatively tall and I have very small I have a 37 or size four foot right 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 so you know I, it's fine for me and I'm actually it's not a new love it's not because they're on trend I can wearing white pimsoles way back in the 90s with a black dress so you know it's always been my sort of thing yeah, Basically. but that's interesting. I mean, that's what we're talking about here, though. Unusual combinations are, by, by definition, unusual. Well, they're exactly. Not, they're not things you would expect. No, you wouldn't expect that. And I have worn it, you know, with my skirt, with, with uh, you know, fairly dressy things I have worn. And another when I've actually worn them, and this is quite, again, if you, if you live in central London, you see lots of young people wearing it. You know, I've got um, quite a classic double-breasted fine check jacket right, right. now yes wear it with jeans i actually wear it as well with a wider leg um black trouser you know to give it a different look yeah. i can wear it with a belt i wear it without a belt um it works for me yeah. i i think it was double breasted you do have to be slightly tall if you've got a bigger bust it probably wouldn't work for you but you could substitute right. with a navy blazer it's, it's just getting your head around you know oh right could I combine that with that? What would happen if I did? You know, and you can try it on front of the mirror. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, you take it off again. But Are I you... think a lot of us don't try, don't, yeah. don't experiment as much as we might. You know, I remember, I don't know where, I think it was on Sex in the City that I saw this um, outfit. I, one of them was wearing it and, I've, and it just stuck with me. It was like a flower skirt with a striped top. And it was such a cute outfit. It looked really nice together. And I never in a million years would have thought of it. Black and white stripe. And then, oh, a, and then a floral, um, like a really deep, a big floral, not, not little baby flowers, but big floral print. And it was really pretty together. And I don't remember it. I may have got the film. I don't didn't watch that many edition versions of the. I used collection. to watch it. Did you watch it? Oh, you're trying to. I, know, I used to watch it. I used to watch it. I can't remember that one, but I definitely used to yeah. watch it. But do you do that a lot? I mean, stripe and flower. Um, I'm not. I mean, I will wear a, f a flower in a scarf or something. I'm not a great lover. Maybe I haven't found the right flowers for me, but I'm not a great lover of, of florals. I know they're on trend. I know they're quite in fashion, but somehow. I don't know why. I prefer to keep my, my wardrobe, my items plain in color and add the florals and the stripes with the accessories or the scarves or whatever. And you know, that's just my Yeah, thing. it's interesting you say that because I actually, I'm like you, I have never worn flowers, but I found these um, kimonos. Like I've got, ah, I've got a couple yeah. of these and this one is, isn't that pretty? Like big flower. Yes, yeah, lovely. Like, like a peony flower. Yes. No, I would go for a bigger flower. I wouldn't want, want to go for stripes. Flower. Okay, here we got stripes. I've got stripes on a shawl. See, I, there was something Ooh, about that. You're right. It's, 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 I like it. Isn't it that just, cool? Is that, yeah, it is cool. 
I just know that, okay, that's my little, it's only a little teeny weeny scarf, but you get the idea of what that would be. Yeah, I do get the idea. Anyway, but that's unusual. And that's, I think, what we we sort of look for. Um, So what else do you do? Do you mix this? Do you like? Well, I've got, you know, I'm wearing spots. So I would mix a spot (laughs) with, um, uh, yeah, with uh, maybe, actually, that's a good point. I've got a semi floral, I can mix it. Try it. I'll try it now. Why Don't not? Guys I like the present. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Mix yeah. it with a bit of with yeah. floral. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a well. It's just a more psychedelic sort of um, <laughs> pattern. This one, bit sort of. But, yeah, I could do that. Interesting. You had a jacket you'd mentioned, an Armani jacket. What was that? Was that well? Armani? Yes, I, I did. Yes, I did find my Armani jacket. That's um, that is really quite. Uh, you can't. It's navy, but it's got a black. <laughs> sort of trim with right. it I love it's Armani. quite you can really dress yeah it's when I could afford it's a more emporia Armani my winter one which is more a classic style I've stored away you know for the for the summer I put it in in mothballs but this one is um quite an interesting one now that you can dress up with some black trousers you know for the evening but you could also wear it with more casual trousers if you wanted mm-hmm. I mean you can dress it it's a real dress up or down another thing which I think is quite oops quite interesting is how you can mix up oops denim that's a denim it's a yeah. kind of a it's not a classic it's dark. yeah it's a dark denim. it is it's a dark denim yes i mean it's yeah it's got some lighter denim in the pocket well you'd be you'd be surprised how many women in our community wear denim we did an article once on denim because someone in their wisdom had said women over 50 shouldn't wear denim and our women didn't like that at all and and you'd be surprised how many you do wear denim but you can do cool stuff with denim i mean you can really make Mm. very dressy or casual Mm. depending on Mm. tops you wear jackets you wear yeah definitely i did a, a blog post on what i what double denim which they're talking about yeah. and i wore this which as you say is a dark denim it's more of a kimono style jacket it's got a v-neck right. it's not yeah. the classic the classic biker jacket for denim cuts me off at the wrong point for me it's not that flattering <laughs> yeah. but i wore that over a pair of slightly wider leg uh paler colored jeans you know the the kind of pale denim and it really made a very nice outfit I was surprised. Yeah. You know, when you were holding up the Armani, the, the Navy jacket, all I could think of was wearing that jacket with white pants. Yes. And, yeah. then, and then like a red beret. <clears throat> oh, yes. Now you're giving me ideas. Wouldn't that, but, but the thing is, I think that if you can do like extremes sometimes, like you don't think of wearing a red beret with white pants. It's so obvious, but I've seen yeah. people wear white yeah. together. It's really, really, or even a little um, red scarf or something, a small one. <laughs> Good idea. Give me, You're giving me ideas. Good idea. oh, that's You're giving me ideas. Yeah. yeah, that is, that's I wasn't pretty. sure when the first sort of trend for the leopard came in. I yeah. mean, I'm not very good on the actual leopard color. You know, it's a little bit tan colored for me. It sort of washes me out yeah, a bit. That's pretty but I want to do a bit of leopard. So I found this red and I found that the red really kind of, you know, lifted color wise. Now that Definitely, you could wear with the white jeans. Yeah. You could wear it with the black trousers. You could wear it's got a little bit of gray in there, so you could pick up the gray. Mm-hmm. So you know, I, I try and go for items that are quite versatile, that go with a lot of other things in my wardrobe, yeah. so that I can and just sort of shake things up. Another one which I thought of. Now this is you probably won't see it all, but it's a damask blue skirt i've had it for years i think it came from jaeger now you know i'd wear that with my leather jacket or you know i'd dress it down with some sneakers or something if i wanted to or you know some some boots in the winter because you know you'd automatically think that's either summer or evening but actually i've worn it with a pair of knee leg boots in the winter well this is the thing i mean even though our, we do have seasons in some parts of the world most of the time you can get away with wearing just about anything that you like i mean just layer it if it's a bit if it's a thinner material i think mm. one of my, my favorite ways of, of adding unusual is is necklaces and i mean yes. me, I, I wear like you i don't wear a lot of um floral i wear more solid colors and then i just put funky fun necklaces on yeah, they're great. I mean, I've got this little one. It's kind of like, the, oh, it's got cute. a little flower on the side. And in fact, you can take that off and wear it as a brooch. That's People cute. don't often think about brooches. Oh, put that on. Off. Let me see. <laughs> 
Oh, it's, going, it's not going to probably show with my headphone thingies on. I won't go to the spots, but you can sort of... Yeah, that's pretty though. A little bit. Yeah. But that's it, isn't it? Like one little sparkle, one little thing that kind of, yes. you know, like on a beret, just having one bright butterfly or something on there. Yeah, I've got quite a few brooches actually, which have gone. Brooches have gone out of fashion a bit, but if you if you use them in unusual ways, they they can add a little je ne sais quoi. Well, what's in fashion now then for for those unusual touches? Uh, I think the leopard print continues. You know, I think it it does add a little bit of something. I mean, it's been going for quite a few seasons yeah, now. It is. I can see it everywhere. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, you can't really really miss it uh another thing that i did and i i did it i literally i could put, i could put it on do you want to put it on sure, right yeah. oh i like it Is I that literally, yes i was doing a photo shoot and it was so windy here in london that my hair was blowing all over the place so i took this literally to keep my hair in place so i put it on and my photographer took a photograph and i thought well why not you know, I put it up there. So I did. And I got, in, where did you get that lovely headband? You know, where'd yeah, you get it? It's um, lovely. So I found a, a few, a supply of a few. But it's like, I never thought to wear it. And suddenly I did. And wow, there it was as a sort of bit of a statement. It's lovely. So it's like, necessity, yeah. or is it necessity is the mother of invention. I think that's absolutely. A, absolutely. That's a great one. No, I think, I think sometimes those surprise things. And actually when you put that on, when you left the part of your hair sticking out, that was really cool. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that happens on my berets, you know, like I'll get this sort of, my beret will be here and then this part will go flying back over the beret. <laughs> it's like, yes, life is fun. This is great. I would encourage people to go out to Josephine's website though because you do what weekly posts i do twice weekly at the moment uh, yes i do well early in the week mostly mondays and fridays are, the, are my days but sometimes it's a uh, day late but it yeah that's it twice and what do you do like you do like a, this is a sample uh, put together out, um, outfit this is the top this is what i'm wearing a skirt is that how you do your your pieces your your posts I vary it I think I do quite a few capsule wardrobes I always do when I'm traveling to France and when I'm you know you know what what to take I do quite a few they're popular I've done shop your closet which has been popular I often choose a trend and say well do you love it or don't you love it uh should we experiment with it how might we use it? How might we incorporate it into our wardrobe? Just to try and shake things up a bit and think, well, maybe we could be a little bit more adventurous. And, you know. That's great. This is how we disrupt aging. Ageism. Yes, I'm, I'm disrupted. That's a very good thing. I'm quite disruptive at times. I think even my readers think, wow, where's, you know, where she's coming from now. But wow, that's look. what I want to do, you know. Yeah, well, you said it in another talk that if, you're, if, this is, if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? This is the time, right? And I think so. I think so. Feel good and experiment and enjoy, enjoy fashion. Yeah. I love talking to you because you're just so, I've, I've now got like a gazillion ideas I want to try out from <laughs> my very limited wardrobe, but it's still, I, I've got my necklaces. I can play with those. Well, I've got some ideas from you. So there we go. We it, was, it was great. <laughs> well, our next time, I, I'm actually, when you do the floral with the stripes, let me know because then I can share. I will. I can add I'm going to you. explore <laughs> that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the boundaries and see what I can do and see what I can find. Mind. Sounds right. good. Well, thank you so much for being here. I love talking with you. Check out Josephine's website, everybody, chicatanyage.com. And uh, we'll talk again soon, jo- Josephine. We yes, will. it was great. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Our Patreon supporters help us to make a bigger difference in the lives of women over 60 all around the world. They get exclusive videos, live video shows, discounts, and much more. So please look for the link on this page. It is somewhere down here, up there. (laughs) And join our tribe of women in our 60 and Me community who are actually making a big difference in the world, challenging aging stereotypes. So thank you so much for your support.